What's up everybody? It's Tomasz here. Deep sleep mode is a special operation mode for microcontrollers in which microcontroller is consuming very little current in the range of microamps. That leads to build devices running for years from a single battery. I'm still playing with M5 stack fire module so I want to investigate if it's possible to use deep sleep mode on M5 stack, what is the current consumption, and if we can build long lasting devices using M5 stack. According to ESP32 datasheet, this microcontroller is able to go down to 10 microamps power consumption while in deep sleep mode. Before we can verify if it's performing according to the specification, we should prepare some code to put it into deep sleep mode. This is the recommended way to put microcontroller into deep sleep mode. I'm using the latest M5 stack library, uh, which is solving some common issue, uh, which was the problem with uh, power management chip getting into sleep after 30 seconds. So the deep sleep mode couldn't be longer than 30 seconds. And now it's no longer a problem because um, deep sleep function is automatically configuring this chip to keep the deep sleep mode for a very long time. We can verify the implementation of deep sleep function and see how it works. So initially this function is calling set power boost keep on which is disabling this uh, sleep mode of power management chip before getting into deep sleep mode we can configure to wake it wake it up by a button or by timer uh, if we set timer to zero that means that the timer wake up mode will be not available now it's time to compile and I set up a special circuit to measure the power consumption. So using a power supply, I'm powering M5 stack, uh, connect, uh, connecting power supply to uh, M5 stack battery terminals. So imitating a battery running at 3.7 volts. And there is also a multimeter, which is measuring the current uh, during deep sleep mode. As we see, the power consumption in deep sleep mode is 10 milliamps, which is obviously very, very high in comparison to documentation. So let's think about it. Why is it so high? Let's see uh, the schematic. First, please note the battery is connected to power management chip, uh, which is boosting the voltage up to 5 volts. And then the voltage is uh, connected to power switch. We have three circuits. One is powering microcontroller. So this is VCC. The other is powering LCD display. And the third one is powering audio amplifier. We have no way to control uh, first two circuits because they are permanently connected to power so they are permanently enabled. What we can do is that we can control audio amplifier. There is a special test breakpoint uh, which can be shorted to disable the third uh, circuit. So, so I'm going to test what is the result of uh, switching off uh, amplifier power. Using the same setup as before, uh, I'm running the same code, of course, and let's see what happens when I short this test break. So as you can see, the power consumption goes down to 4 milliamps. Uh, well, still uh, pretty high, but definitely much better than, than before. 
So it seems that um, mm, this test break may be a good solution. However, uh, it's actually very small, very difficult to modify. Uh, maybe there is some other way. So let's see uh, what's going on uh, on the audio amplifier. What we see there is uh, NS4148, but actually on board there is NS4150. I have also a uh, documentation about this chip. There is a special pin which is control. The control pin enables or disables the, the chip. So if I short it to ground, I will switch off uh, the audio amplifier. It's permanently connected to power, but fortunately through a resistor. So uh, we can modify the circuit connecting this pin to ground. And then the audio amplifier should be off. Since audio amplifier is definitely bigger, so it's easier to solder anything to its pins. So I think that may be better solution if the result is comparable to what I achieved a moment ago. So let's check it again, the same setup. And as uh, we see, the power consumption is even better, 3.5 milliamps. So in the end, I think that that modification is the best one we can do for M5 stack fire. And even uh, if uh, you want, you can uh, control this control pin uh, using GPIO and the power consumption goes down to 3.5 milliamps. Of course, this is not in any way comparable to 10 microamps. However, using uh, the battery that is built into M5 stack fire, I can expect um, running time uh, of more than 100 hours using uh, deep sleep mode. That may be enough for many applications uh, for battery powered devices. If you want to see the entire code, please uh, visit my GitHub repository so you can see how to preserve uh, some variables during deep sleep mode and also a bit more sophisticated way of getting into deep sleep mode, which lets you use uh, not only a single button, but also two buttons to wake up from a deep sleep mode. That's it for today. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon.